Rococo. Rococo. What is Rococo? Other than a fun word to say. <laughs> so what is the Rococo style? So Rococo is more of a traditional design style and I'm excited to get into it because I've been wanting to do some of these videos of some of the more classical design styles for a while. So sometimes the Rococo style is referred to as late Baroque and it has always been famous for being exuberant, feminine and light with a gilded elegance. So the Baroque style during the reign of Louis XIV was very serious and full of heavy ornament and drama. It was a perfect style to express power and control and it became very popular with the aristocrats of the time who used it to intimidate visitors. So think of places like the Palace of Versailles. So the term Rococo comes from the French word rocal. Sorry if I'm butchering that. And the Italian Barocco at the end of the Baroque style. So rocal refers to rock work, a kind of plaster that was sculpted to look like rock. Before the 1700s, it was used to create fanciful grottos in the gardens of aristocrats. And by the early 1700s, rocal techniques were also being used indoors by French plasters. And the term was used to refer to the delicate scrolling patterns of stucco on walls, ceilings, and wood paneling. Although Louis XV style and rocal ornaments and the Rococo style are often referred to the same thing, it was the Rococo style that developed throughout Europe. So between the death of Louis XIV and Louis XV coming of age to reign in 1723, the king's government moved from Versailles to Paris. What followed was all the aristocrats feeling the need to update and renovate their interior de decoration in Paris because everybody needed to follow up with the latest fashions. So some of the key elements of the Rococo style includes sensuous curvy lines, luxurious materials, asymmetrical flourishes, soft pastel colors, superior craftsmanship, a lot of stylized leaves and flowers, C and S shaped scrolls and shells. What was really interesting is that at this time where they had moved into Paris, there really wasn't a lot of new building construction happening. It was mainly the existing spaces that were renovated and decorated. The apartments in Paris were smaller than the houses in Versailles and the salons were used for intimate and formal gatherings. The domestic spaces became very elegant and they were extremely comfortable and the feeling of the new Rococo interiors were a lot happier and less intimidating than the earlier Baroque spaces. Unfortunately, the general public really didn't get to appreciate this as this was left for the aristocrats, the higher level of society, as their exterior forms were still left in the previous style. This was very much an interior renovation project. The Rococo style was exclusively used by the upper upper class and by 1735 it had become the it style of decorating. So what I love about the Rococo style is it originated as a form of interior design. It is a style that is focused on interiors. Whereas the Baroque style was dramatic, bold and grand with contrasting colors, the Rococo was light, playful and delicate with gentle shades of pastels. The Rococo style is famous for its attention to detail and elaborate decoration. You'll see things like wood paneling with decorative carvings included in canthus leaves, flowers, C and S shaped scrolls, shells, and so on. During the Rococo, the scale and design of furniture became more elegant and delicate with applied ornamentation on everything from mirrors to candle holders. Seating had become more comfortable as it was required by the new taste for smaller and comfortable gatherings. You would see that beautiful curving form everywhere and that beautiful cabrio leg became extremely popular during the Rococo era. So if you love this style and you want to embrace it and bring touches of Rococo into your own home, how do you get the look? So you want to really forget about symmetry. You want to embrace sweeping forms, seashells and scrolls. Think about adding pieces of furniture with curved legs and sensuous shapes. You really want to go for 
patterns that are full of flowers, birds, animals, and leaves. I feel like we're seeing a lot of those touches in today's maximalist styles as well. So we are seeing a lot of soft, beautiful patterns that have become extremely on trend. So getting a hold of this style won't be too hard. Think about introducing a Rococo piece into your modern or even minimal interior. That fine detail and craftsmanship of a Rococo piece will really contrast perfectly in say a minimalist space. It's really gonna stand out as a showstopper. Another thing that you wanna think about with Rococo, it is intended to be light and airy and beautiful. So thinking about white and pastel shades really work well for this style. A really easy way to bring in some Rococo to your space is adding in a mirror because there are so many French style mirrors that we do see lots of recreations for. You can really bring in this Rococo look through a beautiful gilded mirror. Another way to really embrace the Rococo style is to think about bringing in a beautiful wallpaper, with a beautiful pattern that goes with that Rococo style. I really love the thought of bringing this into maybe a powder room or a bathroom where you can really commit to something that's a little bit more bold and has a lot more, you know, going on. So this style is really famous for its gilded glamour and pastel shades. It's seductive, it's witty and very elegant. Rococo is a well-loved interior design style. If you wanna add a touch of glamour to your space, then I highly recommend bringing in some Rococo to your home. Until next time, bye.